Have you ever wondered how BB-8 works? Today we're not only gonna build a BB-8, we're gonna put a motor in him and take control. And it's gonna be so much fun because I adore this cute little robot. I mean, at the moment, this cute little shiny robot is in pieces, but we can fix that. That's the entire point of this game. This game is called Dynamo and it lets us build machines, basically robots. We can pick up the parts, rotate them, and then press space to put them in place. So I'm, I'm putting this bar that will go through the middle onto a weight that holds all of the internal stuff the right way up, basically. <laughs> I'm sure there will probably be a little bit more to an actual BB-8, because it's got the little lighter where it's like where it does the thumbs up for Finn, but that's absolutely adorable. And I don't know what this is. Is that where the lighter comes out of? Or is it just a cool merry-go-round feature? I don't know. We have to fit all of this inside a sphere, which I'm just going to assume, no, no, this is not golf. Don't you dare. <laughs> Get back here. Uh, I'm still getting used to the controls a little bit. Also, you can play this game in VR. If anyone wants to see me play this game in VR, please let me know because I would love to try this stuff out. I don't know how many different robots there are to build quite yet. Can we, can we, uh... Aha, here we go. Okay, let's put, put all of this inside there. Just press space and it teleports. It's it's a video game. I, I have no control over how we put things in a sphere. And now we've got to put your head back on. Bonk, bonk. Oh, oh, your head's really upside down. Hang on. How cute is your head? Wait, we can move your head closer to us. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay, so you just booped us and it moved us. We were so moved, literally, by your cuteness. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move you down here. Uh, no, not closer. Further away. And uh, then, uh, uh, whoa. And then put that down there. Oh, no! Uh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't know what it's doing. It seems to be picking up speed. Can I drop it? Okay, perfect. What's the name of the evil BB-8 unit? Is it BB... H8? Because it's evil? I don't know. Anyway, it's time to add some controls onto this. So if we go into the control mode, it will give us a, a, a ton of little dots on the inside of this BB-8 unit, which we can then add motors. Add motor to crossbar arm. Is that this one? This, wait, wait. Hang on. Can I zoom in? I, I can't. Oh, I can... Yeah, physically interact, but I can't put anything. Oh, on this one? Is it, is it, which, which one is it? I don't know which one, so I'm gonna put motors on both of them. Because I'm not sure. Uh, if we go into actions, motion, whoa, actions, motion, and then motor. Click and drag that onto here. And then press space. Hey, apparently that was the right one. <laughs> This game isn't finished yet, as far as, un as I understand, but it is free! So if you want to download this and build your own version of the BB-8 unit that you can control and, and like, set your own keys to make it move around, then do that. That's kind of what we're about here. We're about making stuff and having a good time. So we've got something powering this, uh, this arm, which is great. That will make the whole thing spin, but we haven't actually got any buttons assigned to it, which isn't good, because we need buttons. So, how about if I use, uh, oh, do I, it let me, lets me use a game controller? Have I plugged, I haven't plugged my game controller in. Oh, it's stuck around the leg of my thing. No. Right, got the controller. If we drag on the D-pad up, which is this thing here. Ooh, oh, it does work. It controls the camera right now. If we drag that onto here and then attach that to the right hand side because there's two different things that control the power and speed of this motor, which is way too compl complicated to go into now. And then we make sure that this thing thinks that it's a gamepad. Add controls. And I'm going to quickly check that that works. 
So let's go into the moving playing fun times. So we press up. It doesn't work. Yay. Which means we've got to fix it. Oh no, D pad up. Durr. Yay. Oh, bye bye BB 8. I pressed the wrong one. It was that one. It wasn't that one. Hang on, let's zoom out so we can see this working. Go! <laughs> it's like, whoa! BB 8 is so cute. It's like, oh, we're off now. Well, where did you end up, BB 8? You're over here now. <laughs> Great. So, where's the counterweight? The counterweight should be down at the bottom. We need to add a motor to that? I don't, I have no idea how that works. So, let's just use the tutorial to guide us through it. Put one on there, and then click and drag, press space, it's doing all the things, and then controls. What do I need? What would be best to control what I assume is the head? Uh, um, the left thumbstick? No, the right thumbstick. Right. Right, the right thumbstick on the gamepad. Yes, I've built BB-8! Apparently, according to the thing. So what... What does this control? Oh! It controls the rotation of BB-8. Uh... So, um... That way? That way? Yay! And we can use them at the same time. Whoa, it is... Not the best control scheme I've ever seen, and now I can't control the camera because it's in not building mode. Oh dear, where's where you at, BB? My my friend, is there actually is there a BB H8 or whatever it's called? We've got kits in here, droid sets, droid uh, BB 9E. Is that it? It is. Oh no, we could have like a an epic battle between. BB-8 and BB-H-8 or BB-9-E, whatever. E, e, e. How does- oh, I'm not in build mode. Durr. Oh, oh, I can attach it. Sweet! Although, apparently BB- BB-8 is not working. It doesn't have a, anything to hold up its head. It's just a ball and a head. It's- it's having a nap. Okay. It's- wait, can we see if there are controls for it? No. No, there don't appear to be controls for it because... Can't attach anything to that node there. Okay, can we get BB-8 to beat up thingy? I, I mean, that's not the way BB-8 would do it, but I'm in control now. BB-8, you see your enemy. Charge! You missed. Uh, so close. So close. Almost. Almost. Yeah! Oh, it's it's frame racy with the physics right now. I don't know what's happened. <laughs> Yay! Okay, as long as they're not touching, the world doesn't end. Oh, we get a nice slow mo effect for the whole. <laughs> Yay! Oh, come come to me, come to me, friend. No, oh. The exciting thing about this game is that it shows you more than one way to control and make a BB-8. There are lots of different solutions to having a sphere and a floaty head that you can use in real life. If anyone's ever seen the actual physical real droid they made for the film, then you know it's a, a thing you can actually do. And I believe there is a slightly more complicated version if we go to the dashboard and then... Look, there's two other versions of it that might work, so we're gonna go through them and see if that makes any difference. So, if you want to see me build more stuff in this game, then let me know in the comments, because I, I really had a lot of fun with this game. Thanks for watching! Please subscribe, because I want to inspire you to be creative with video games that we can make and break stuff in. But until next time, mustache.